Some say we are what we eat, but what if what we ate changed radically? So what's this? So this is actually not milk. What is this not milk made out of? Mushroom species, a couple of uh, seeds over here. You're going to see chia, you're going to see linseed. Using artificial intelligence and state-of-the-art technology, a Chilean food tech startup is making plant-based foods that replicate the taste, texture, and even smell of animal-based products by copying their molecular structure. So you're saying a computer decides how to make all this? Yeah, yeah. Giuseppe, the computer software, is an artificial intelligence algorithm programmed to become the smartest food scientist in the world. It's an algorithm, a machine learning algorithm that, that is trained to learn patterns um, happening in these molecular components that uh, create the, perception, the special perception of flavor and texture on every different product. Vegetable-based versions of meat products are not new, but Giuseppe's software has no registered match. So you're saying you can replicate beef, chicken, pork? For sure, yeah. One would tend to think that the molecular structure of, uh, of meat is exclusive to meat, and that's not true. They argue that plants use less land, less water, and fewer resources. Raising and breeding livestock is the single largest contributor to every major environmental ill known to humankind. I'm talking about deforestation, land use, water scarcity, even world hunger. If we were to start from scratch and we wanted to figure out the best way or the most efficient way to deliver nutrition to the 7.1 billion people in this planet, the answer wouldn't be animals. Science will tell you to do something different. But what about the no small matter of taste? Our own taste test determined that the not milk, which will sell for half the price of almond or other alternative milks, tastes like a slightly sweeter, creamier dairy milk, but with fewer calories. Okay, I'm going to try the classic mayonnaise. Go ahead. Mm, perfect. The cheese? I think you can work on the cheese a little more. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> the Knot Company's products, which will soon include Knot Hot Dogs, should be on selected supermarket shelves in Chile next month. An example of what they believe is the food of the future. Will, you know, improve climate change. I mean, climate change will determine our lives from here to 30 years from now. If Perhaps, but in the short term, the determining factor will likely be the taste of consumers. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.